So hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how to download Auto Switcher um, for 1.2.5, which is the latest update now on Minecraft. And so you want to go to the link in the description, and it'll bring you up with this page. And so you just want to scroll about halfway down, not even now, a little bit down, and it'll say it download Auto Switch 1.2.5. And so you click that, and then it'll bring you up to this Add Flyer page, and then just wait in the corner. It should say wait five, four, three, two, one. If it doesn't, then just refresh the page, and it, then it should. And just click skip add, then it shall, if it comes, come on, come on, come on, bring up to this page, click download in the middle here, your download is starting. If something's corrupted, like I say, just refresh the page if anything wrong happens. I'm just going to close down that advertisement, like now, and I'm just going to click on desktop. Why is it being so laggable? Why is it lagging? And hey, desktop, oh, click an add, oh, sorry. And so once you've done that, then you want to go back and download Mod Loader for 1.2.5 as well. And so here we have Auto Switcher Mod. No, Auto Switch, sorry, I'm calling it the wrong finger. Auto Switch, and I already have Mod Loader for 1.2.5 here. Um, the reason why it has 1.2.5 after it is because I have two different ones. One, one for 1.2.4, but I don't think it really makes a difference anyway. But yeah, so once you've got all these files, um, I'm just going to force update just to show you that I don't already have it installed. You know, that's the only reason why I force update or just to get rid of mods or anything like that and so don't force update if you don't have to say like you have a mod don't force update or um, we want to do to if you want to you know you don't want your minecraft to crash is go to your dot bin dot minecraft folder if you don't know how to do that then just wait a second i'll show you um, then just copy your fingerprint on your desktop just to make sure it doesn't crash with this mod and so yeah um, once you're force updated well you don't have to like i said um, minecraft will put 2.5 and so yeah, once I've done that, you want to come to your start button here and type in run, click enter. Then this should come up. Um, if yours doesn't, then just pause the video and copy that. And just click OK. And wait for this to load. And then once this is loaded, open your bin. And you'll see Minecraft. Um, you might see Minecraft 1.2.4 or 1.2.5 or whatever. Uh, you don't need to mess around with that. It's only just Minecraft, this one here. And so you right-click that and click and hover over Open With. And then scroll along to WinRAR Archiver. If you don't have WinRAR, then there'll be a link in the description for that for you to download. So you click that. And then this shall load up. And click Close off that. you see MetaRinf. Right-click and Delete Files. Yes. And once that's done, go back to your desktop, open up Mod Loader first, yes, Mod Loader, and then just can either press Control A, or you can just drag over them, or highlight them, however you want to see it, and just drag them into Minecraft.jar. If you've done mods before, then you know what to do, you just drag them in. Once that's dragged in, open up Auto Switch, drag that in, that's only one file, okay. But what you're going to make sure is, oh, I'm going to close off that, we want to make sure is because you see this file, this folder even, is highlighted. You want to make sure you don't drag the files into there because that could happen and make your Minecraft crash. And so once you've done that, that's that done. Just open up Minecraft then. And then click login. Don't force update. Don't force update again. There's no point in that. And so just go single player. I'm just going to go in there. Um, and then once you've done this, um, you might think, oh, it's, mine's already on. Yeah, mine's already on, but if you want yours to, uh, to work, press F10, or if your computer doesn't work by F10, press Control F10, or press Fn F10. Uh, I'll leave them all on the description if you want to know if yours doesn't work like that. And so, yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed... Oh, we need to quit off this. What's this here? Oh, crap. Um, if you've enjoyed, then leave a like in the description, because, you know, it helps me out. And, obviously, I've helped you out with this mod, so you can maybe help me out by leaving me a like and you know also comment if you have any problems um, there is help on the actual web page for that mod it does um, you know give you some problems if it gives you some problems give you some help if anything happens and see you guys if you enjoyed thanks for watching